butter chicken. It would have to be one of the most popular Indian curries out there. And I'm going to show you my version using cauliflower instead of chicken. It actually works a treat and it is so delicious. It's also not just for vegetarians. It's a great recipe to do if you just want to give yourself a break from meat. So first up, we need to make a marinade. So in a bowl, I've got some minced garlic, freshly done, along with some freshly minced ginger. Into this, I'm going to add some spices and we want about a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of ground coriander. We'll keep them there because we need it also for our sauce later on. A good pinch of salt and about half a cup of yoghurt. You don't want too much yoghurt for this because essentially we just want to coat each individual piece of cauliflower. Now I'll give that a really good mix and you'll see we've got a lovely thick paste-like consistency. To this we'll add our cauliflower, so that's one head of cauliflower and you can see that I've just cut them into small bite sized pieces, so in they go. And we want to coat that really well because what's going to happen is as I cook this it's going to form a lovely crust. Okay, I'm really happy with that, so that can go into a tray. Spread that out and now this goes into a really hot oven, so about 210 degrees. You want to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's golden. Okay, while that's cooking, let's get on to our sauce. Now I'm going to use a saute pan for this because we want to fry our onions off. We want a lovely even heat, so I'm going to turn the heat on. And I'll know that this is at the optimum temperature when that thermo signal is solid red. So while that's heating up, let's slice some onions. One large onion for this recipe that I'm going to thinly slice. And I do add a lot of onions to this sauce because I want it to really cook down, soften, and it's going to really impart a lovely sweet flavour to the sauce. Now, instead of cooking this in oil, I'm going to use some ghee, so it's extremely authentic. We want about a teaspoon or so. And in that goes. And because ghee is clarified butter, even on that high heat, it won't burn. So there's the advantage of that. And of course, that lovely distinct flavour that we're after. So in with our onions and we want to just use our tongs just to break those onions up, coat them in the ghee and just allow them to cook down. We need a tomato in this, so just one ripe tomato. I'm going to dice and I will leave the seeds in this. I want to get some moisture into this so seeds can stay in this time around. And we'll just dice the other side. Okay, back to our onions. Ooh, we've got some good caramelisation, they've softened down and I'll add some spices. So I always like to start with the whole spices. One cinnamon stick, I'll just break that in half along with three cardamom pods. We'll give them a little toast off and we can add the remaining ground cumin, so another teaspoon and the ground coriander. Now again, when you're using spices, you do want to toast them off. And some chilli. Now, traditionally in a butter chicken, you add Kashmiri chilli. And you can see its distinct difference because of its bright red colour. It's really, really red. So we'll add that. And it's not as spicy as other chilli powders. So I've just added a little more to this. It's smelling good now. Tomato paste, so about a tablespoon of tomato paste and we want to mix that through. Now this is going to help thicken out our sauce, but whenever you're using tomato paste, do cook that off. Okay, in with our fresh tomatoes. And another stir. You can see we've got some heat there, but it's not sticking whatsoever because this saute pan is non-stick. All right, so a good splash of water. That's going to form the gravy. A little jiggle and I will turn it down and pop the lid on. And we want to cook this for about five minutes just until those tomatoes break down. In the meantime, we can get some rice on. So just really quickly, basmati rice, I've given it a wash, so wash it three times and we'll just pop that into a pot. You don't need to add any salt to this. So that goes in. We'll cover it with some water 
bring it to the boil and then turn it down, lid goes on and we'll just allow that to cook until all of that water has been absorbed. Cauliflower has come out of the oven. You can see how caramelised it is. It's just right. So let's finish off this sauce and bring it together. In our sauté pan, we've got a beautiful, thick, rich gravy. We want to add one more spice, so a little hint of garam masala. And this is the exception to the rule. The garam masala can be added right at the end. So in that goes along with our chickpeas. So I'm going to add some chickpeas. This is just to really bulk it out. And our glorious cauliflower. Just going to scoop all of that up and add it to it. So you may be saying, why do I need to roast it? It's an extra step. It is an extra step that's very well worth the wait because you're going to get that smoky flavour from the charness that you get from roasting it in the oven. So I highly recommend it. All right, let's fold all of that together, coat it in the sauce, and it's called butter cauliflower because, yes, we did add a lot of ghee at the beginning, but now we add some cream just to give it that gorgeous, luscious finish. So a drizzle of that. And just let that cook for a moment, just so some of that cream does reduce. Looks good. OK, let's plate this up. A large bowl will add some of our rice. Ooh, perfectly hot and steamy. Grab a spoon. We'll add some basmati rice to one side. I love how fluffy the individual grains are. I'll turn the heat off because this cauliflower is ready. And again, we're going to add a generous amount of this. I feel like if it was a butter chicken, a classic one, you wouldn't be able to be as generous. But because it's all veggie, why not? Let's really top up the plate. To finish this off, I'll add a few sprigs of mint just to the top there. And if you're like me and have a fridge full of Indian condiments, then of course use them. I've got some mango chutney here. All different types of chutneys are fantastic with this. That is butter chicken without the chicken, but with cauliflower, and it is absolutely worth doing. You will love it.